So you say that the fault goes from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4 seconds, right? So the fault increases its speed from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4 seconds. In other words, I can represent this in the graph as noted by the green line. We can also assume that the mass tank accelerates in a straight line. So the velocity of the car is also the speed of the car. As you can see, it is an upward slope with a positive gradient from 0 to 100. Let's also assume that the Ford stops accelerating and continues driving at 100 kilometers per hour for a while. We can now get the graph as shown here. Hang on, this looks familiar and it's very similar to the distance time graph we did the other day. And we had worked on speed time graphs in the previous lesson as well. Good, that's very sharp of you. As you can see, there is a gradient on the graph. The value on the gradient is equivalent to the value of acceleration of the object, in this case, the mass tank. Then in that case, it's pretty simple to calculate the acceleration. Yes, but before you forget, you want to convert the speed from kilometers per hour to meters per second. This is because the SI unit for acceleration is meters per second squared. Thus, converting the speed to meters per second will ease our calculation work. Also, you will only need to calculate the average acceleration from 0 to 4 seconds, as after the 4th second mark, the car remains at constant speed. Alright, so 100 km per hour is equal to 100 divided by 3.6 meters per second equals 27.777 meters per second. Good, good. And then, the calculated acceleration of a speed time graph is the change of speed divided by change of time, just like calculating speed in a distance time graph. Very good. This would give the working of 27.777 meters per second divided by 4 seconds. You will also need to round this off to two decimal places. So the acceleration would be 6.94 meters per second squared after rounding it off to two decimal places. I see, but what does this SI unit actually mean? The unit for acceleration actually means a change in speed per second. Thus, the unit for acceleration is meters per second squared or meters per second per second. Hmm, I think I got it. Then let us find out if you've really got it. Calculate the average acceleration for the really fast Nissan. I have drawn the graph in red. 